everyone good morning this is me avishka and the bulletin today starts with nvidia to collaborate with indian railways and co-develop ai chip with india apple cards vision pro production amid slow sales advances in earth science ebsd technology highlighted garmin launches phoenix 8 series smartwatches in india samsung confirms no cheaper galaxy z fold model planned nasa develops prototype telescope for gravitational wave studios arm notifies qualcomm of license agreement cancellation In the previous quiz, we asked you who is the founder of Swiggy, and the answer is Nandan Reddy, Rahul Jaimini, and Sri Harsha Majithi. It's time for our daily tech quiz. Here's today's question: What does IP stand for? Confident you've got the answer? Drop your guess in the comments below. Tune into tomorrow's news bulletin to find out if you've nailed it. And with the first news, according to an Economic Times report, Nvidia is likely to partner with Indian Railways to enhance the covered security system. The company may also extend its support to Indian startups under India's AI mission. In, ad- in addition, Nvidia has proposed a collaboration with India to co-develop an artificial intelligence chip, leveraging India's semiconductor design talent and expanding market. The proposal was initiated by Nvidia's founder and CEO Jensen Huang during a meeting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the US earlier this year. Last month, after meeting Modi in New York. Huang emphasized that this is India's moment you have to seize the opportunity. Huang who was among 15 tech leaders who have met Modi during his US visit the coming summit will highlight the role of AI infrastructure in boosting key sectors like healthcare, agriculture, education and manufacturing. Sales for Apple's Vision Pro headset have dropped significantly since its February launch primarily due to its high price of around dollar 3500 in competition from cheaper alternatives like Meta's Quest 3 which cost around dollar 500. Reports indicate that Apple has reduced Vision Pro production and might cease making the current model by year end. So far suppliers have manufactured enough components for 5 lakh and 6 lakh headsets but one factory halted production in May. Apple has hinted at a more affordable version of Vision Pro by 2025. The company also aims to revitalize demand through international releases and integrating AI into its devices. During a lecture at Nagpur University, Mariana Elizabeta from University of Liverpool discussed the impact of electron backscatter diffraction technology on studying earth's minerals and structures. Speaking in memory of former geology department head professor Shiprad Rao Kilpade, she explained how EBSD can help analyze geological data including earthquake patterns. The event attended by notable guests and students also featured insights on lithium content in granite by Sam Dragon. Acting Vice Chancellor Prashant Bokre addressed the changing job market for geology graduates. The program included the inauguration of a new museum and the new renovated Kilpade Memorial Auditorium. We have Garmin which has introduced its Phoenix 8 series smartwatches in India designed for fitness and adventure enthusiasts. Prices start at 86990 with options for AMOLED and solar display. The series offer various sizes with 51 mm AMOLED model boosting a battery life of up to 29 days. The smartwatch features military grade durability, fitness tracking capabilities, specialized training programs. Users can make calls directly from the watch and utilize voice commands. Adventure features include an LED flashlight and support for diving alongside detailed maps for navigation. The Phoenix 8 series is now available through Garmin's website and retail stores. We have good Now Samsung has officially stated that it will not release a cheaper version of its Galaxy Z Fold smartphone quashing rumors of an entry level model. The company recently launched the Galaxy Z Fold 6 special edition which offers incremental upgrades but remains a premium product. Reports suggested a possible lower cost version with reduced feature but Samsung emphasizes its commitment to offering diverse choices rather than budget options. The brand faces stiff competition in the foldable market particularly from Huawei which holds a 35% market share compared to Samsung's 23%. The Galaxy Z Fold special edition is priced at dollar 100 higher than the predecessor. NASA has unveiled a prototype telescope designed to study gravitational waves as its laser interferometer space antenna mission with the European Space Agency. The LISA mission aims to position three spacecrafts in a triangular formation to detect infrared laser beams and gravitational waves caused by cosmic events such as black hole collision. The prototype made from a special glass ceramic features a gold optimized performance in cold space. The mission is scheduled to launch by 2030 and by studying gravitational waves scientists hope to enhance our understanding of the universe and phenomena like big bang. Asa 
Now, ANS has issued a 60-day notice to Qualcomm regarding the cancellation of their licensing agreement, which allows Qualcomm to design its own chips based on ARM standards. This development follows ARM's lawsuit against Qualcomm for failing to negotiate a new license after acquiring Nubia. Qualcomm criticized ARM's action as unfounded threats aimed at disrupting their operations and increasing royalty fees. With the trial scheduled for December, an ARM victory could impact Qualcomm's chip shipment and its strategic acquisition of Nubia. Despite ongoing tensions, some analysts believe that the companies might reach a settlement before the trial. This was it for today's news. Stay tuned to IT Voice for more such tech updates.